Okay. Forgive me for that. Uh, but if you're watching retrospectively, you never knew anyway, did you? If you're one of the late to the party team, you don't watch live, you never knew. Let's get the shout outs out of the way. Couple of new ones. Edward Barker, George Nolden, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you'll come on for the journey uh, and we'll take you with us as we go. Uh, the rest of the names, Daisy Digby, Carter, Dougie, Oscar, Lois, Theo, Mimi and Gary, Harry, Traguno, Lucy, Stacey and Robin, Traguno, Amy, Hannah and Ben, Ellie and Amelia, Devin Zilla and Daddy Zilla, Thomas and Francoise, Nathan and Ronan watching me, watching you, watching me, watching you. Um, Max the MC Master, Charlie and Oliver, Red AK, Steven AK, Rodeo Thin and Me, Game Boy Matty and Doogie McBain, uh, Bobo Baloba and Toxis, and Tanto Ninja, new uh, fresh face fan on the scene, um, Finster and his cats, Duncan and Goodhue, um, Bobby and Queen Evanthea from New York, uh, Alex and Anna, Annabelle Watts, Millie, Retro Gamer Thomas, Lily Rose, James, Mark, Garage Gamers, Pamela, and of course, new ones on the list, Edward Barker and George Nolden. Welcome to the team. We'll do the shout outs again at some point in time. George, you're not in, you're not, you're not in the wood. What's going on? Technical issues. Led me to be here, not there, but we'll go there. A little sneak peek of other things I've got going on. Ooh. Minecraft stories. Um, we'll get the chat working. Tanto's here. Tanto's here. Everyone, panic over. Tanto's. Tanto's ridden in to the chat. Excellent to see you, young man. The Ender Dragon slaying wizard of Minecraft. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, still cursed. I'm still cursed, and I can hear dead things. Now, my suggestion to you, gamers, would be that we've we've used Minecraft against itself, and we've put some dead things in here. That's what I think. Yeah, no, we don't know. I can't. I can't decide one way or the other. I can hear a dead thing somewhere. Is it outside? Holy moly, I did not need to see that two minutes into the stream, did I? Absolutely not. He can stay down there, can't he? Let's have a little look-see. Let's just take stock. It sounds like it's right outside my door. It sounds like it was slurping on... Hmm, I can see it. It can see me. It's now desperate to get to me, isn't it? Look at it. Do I... It's going to be hard to do the slashing back from up from there, though. It's going to be hard to do the slashing back. Let's draw him away from the house. Let's take one for the team. Come on, boy. Oof, for a minute. Those that have watched every episode probably know what I was thinking there. Uh, come on. Come on this way, Mr. Creepy. You're not welcome here. You're gonna damage my house if you carry on like that. Ouch. Ha <laughs> ha! Did you see that fish? Ha <laughs> ha! Water contains creeper damage. Oh, of course, I should have known that. I was being a bit dim. I can hear the dead things. Where are they? Do you think they're underneath the house? They're not in there. I checked under Wayne. Checked under the Wayne fountain. The Wayne foundation. Checked under there. They could be in there, couldn't they? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's an idyllic setting. Definitely heard a dead thing. Oh, he's there! Bless his cotton socks. Let's go put him out of his misery. Hiding. Problem. Oh, he's coming now. All right, you have the higher ground. For Wade. For Wade. Rachel's here. Panic over. Two viewers, I'm somewhat, three, four, better turn the chat on because no doubt the big boy screen chat's already broken. Uh, I'll do it while I'm doing, I'll do it while I'm doing. Didn't expect full house today. It's just a random Tuesday, but you've all flocked with your tray teas, your chicken dippers. Goose is here, bless the cotton socks. 
most beautiful woman on the internet, as she knows. She comes here to hear me say it. Uh, still true. Where's Where's Carter, eh? Where's the Minecraft veteran? Um, bear with me though, you got to bear with me. Home. Got to press all the buttons on the device. It's not as simple as it looks. I make it look easy. Tend easy. I'll tell you that now. Uh, yeah, I've got a 4,000 year old iPad. Oh, we've had some new subscribers. That's nice. If you're listening, you haven't pressed subscribe. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Uh, all the bigger boy YouTuber noises, like, subscribe, blah de blah Makes a big difference to my life. Makes me feel like I'm not just uh, doing a stream for me mum. Um, hi mum. She might be watching. It's doubtful. She doesn't Minecraft. I know. What's wrong with a woman? Uh, oh, I didn't know all this existed back here. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't know it was this beautiful. Seeing the cross of Wayne, heading that direction, mosey on down. So we'll do the shout outs because you're all here for those. New names on the list. Edward Barker and George Nolden. Big fans of the Minecraft. Through the medium of magic, I now know that they watch the show. Daisy Digby, Carter Dougie, Oscar Lois, Theo me and Mimi and Gary, Harry Traguno, Lucy Stacey and Robin Traguno, Amy Hannah and Ben, Ellie and Amelia, Devin Zilla and Daddy Zilla, Thomas and Francoise, Nathan and Ronan, I'm watching you boys. Uh, Max the MC Master, Charlie and Oliver, Red, AK Steven, Game Boy Matty, Boba Loba Toxis, the aforementioned Tanto Ninja, my uh, su supporter here, gives me the top tips. We get through it together. Doogie's here, he heard his name. He said, shake a leg, Game Boy Matty. I heard my name on the internet. That means to the YouTube mobile. Uh, where did we get to? Think I did the Boba Lovers. Daniel Ridge, Bobby and Queen of Anthea, uh, honoured by their presence. Alex and Anna, Annabelle Watts, Millie and Retro Gamer Thomas, Lily Rose, James, Mark, Garage Gamers, and the wonderful Pamela. Um, I forget what I said we'd do, so if you remember what I said that we would do it here now, today, in the game, uh, I'll crack on and do it. I think yesterday I confessed about what had gone on over the weekend. Some not great activities, to be fair. Uh, all the preparation I've done to make this week's stream easier. All the bigger boy YouTubers, they play Minecraft for 12 hours, they show you a half hour clip. Here, we do everything live, together. So if you want to know how to do a little bit of something, within reason, if I haven't done it 16 times already, I'll consider doing it. This is how you fish. Okay, watch for the bubbles. Pull, go, salmon. Now, oh George, you've gone fishing and you got fish. Thing is, right, sometimes when you fish, you get enchanted items. Right now, seems to be pulling a lot of fish out. There's a man who knows about fishing, his name's Doogie McBain. Okay, got a free fishing license. Would rather sit in his house backs onto a river. He's got a free fish. Listen to this as a conundrum. His house backs onto a river. He gets given a free fishing license. Would rather play Sega Bass Fishing on the Dreamcast. There is a true gamer. That's right. We don't go outside. We don't like light. George, you get nothing but fish. You're proving nothing. I know. I know. I know that. Um, we don't like light. We like the pleasure of our own company. We can keep ourselves occupied with video games all day long. And we do. We do. Uh, if you're in the chat and you haven't clicked the like button, I have to ask you, do you even game? Question? The answer? More than likely, no. Okay, let's have a look. See what we could do. Ooh, that's messy, George. Don't like that. Look. Messy. The fields are a mess. Sort them out. You've got a hoe in stores. Nice. Hoe the ground. I was having a moment there. I had no idea what was actually going on. 
had a senior moment. We've got no tapes in the produce box, which has overflowed to hold nearly everything that we've got going on. Uh, raw tape. Have I cooked all the tape in desperation? Yes. Yeah, because they're baked tapes. That's fine. Maybe if we harvest what we got, we might be able to double plant those bad boys. There we go. How many did we get? Two. Oh, a poisonous potato. I'll keep that for novelty's sake. There we go. That's Look at that now. Look at that. Like a Japanese Zen garden. Looks amazing. Yeah. Probably not giving the air plants enough love, really, but that's how it is. Let's ditch that. Now, one thing we got, because um, we made that awesome place, Skull Mountain. It's a long walk. It's not exactly nearby, is it? Let's face facts. Um, it's a long walk away, but we built, it's not in there, we built a Skull Mountain where we could do all sorts of weird stuff. That's one thing I did say I would do. Let's take the brewing stand. Let's take, have we got any sand in stores? Have we got any glass? Three glass. Lost the ability to speak. It's not the first time. Sure, it won't be the last. Let's, uh, got no sand in there. So we'll get some, um, we'll go quarry some sand, I think is the correct terminology. Yes, this place looks like it's going to offer up a smorgasbord of sand for us. Excellent, excellent. No one will know we've been here. Take only pictures, leave only memories. That's how we operate. That's how everyone should operate. See this? Beautiful. Well, what are you planning on doing, George? Ah, well, we're going to put in a glass wall. I'll tell you what I could do with this hex ending sometime soon from when we killed that pillager that had managed to poke his way onto the property. Stuck up a mountain near Wayne. Ooh. If you go and go now, because the sun feels like it's going down, it is going down. That means we're probably going to have to battle through a horde of zombies to get to Skull Mountain. But it's worth it. It's worth it. And we'll put a glass wall in up the side so at least one side of the building is uh, watertight. Again, I think that's the saying they use. Tanto Ninja's in the chat. You should make a shovel. He's absolutely right, gamers. There's a man with an outstanding knowledge of Minecraft. It's a good call, Tanto Ninja. Uh, mine sand a lot more. Yes, he's right. He is right. It's a solid point. I should make a shovel. I tend to ignore shovels. Don't know whether it's right. I don't know if it's wrong. I tend to find and take up inventory space, Tanto. And uh, I can hear the spiders. I don't know if you can, but I can hear them. I take up an awful lot of inventory space. And they're almost as quick as a pickaxe. The pickaxe, it's the go-to tool in MC. M to the C, for sure. Um... Ah, damn you. It's unfortunate. I had a good rhythm going there and I just couldn't get couldn't get up on that second plateau, could I? Fell short. I think this is the way, gamers, you know the way better than me to school mountain these days. All the way to the bottom of the garden. Go left once you get round the lake. Uh, and then head forwards. Noise. Whoa, I saw him. I saw him. My eyes are peeled, much like onions. I'm going to show this creeper my port and starving onions. Why do you call them onions, George? Because they make creep creepers cry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Port and starving onions, left and right, for those that aren't of a nautical persuasion. Up and up and up we go. Should be over this ridge. We should be able to see it at least when we get up here. If we can't see it when we get up here, one wonders what was the point. Yes, yes, George, you know where your second home is. Well done. You've only been there 60 million times. Pat on the pack, 
pat on the back. And uh, he's in a Tanto is not wrong. It does make digging dirt a lot quicker. Something that I have a penchant for in this game, seemingly. Look at the mine lit up like that in its eerie, ethereal glow. Oh, that first step was a serious doozy. We won't eat till we get inside. Let's burn those Minecraft calories and get ourselves across and in. In we go. Job done. That's how we do it in the big leagues. What we got in here? Awesome. Let's stick the sand in there. I think. I think I've shown you in one of the episodes how to make glass panes, but I think for this, for this particular incident, or oh, we could bring back glowstone as well. Really light the place up with perla. Um, for this particular job, I think this looks like it's fillable. That's a new word I've invented. Write that down. Impress your teachers with it tomorrow. Fillable inable. This area here. Fillable inable. Yeah. Refreshing slurp of my G fuel. Use code Georgie Boy, get yourself 0% off. That's taking an embarrassingly long amount of time, isn't it? I said I'd eat, I need to eat. And I've had my fill. I've had my fill at right. Right. For now, have I got me cobble? No. That's annoying. I mean, the place is awash with it, but I kind of like the way it looks down there. I don't really want to... What have I left? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. What have I got in stores? Nothing. Less than nothing. Diorite. Is that a quartz block? Yeah, let's use that. Let's make a... Uh, where are we going to put the brewing stand, gamers? Do you think we should put it on this floor, or do you think we should have, like... Do you think we should do all the brewing up in the skull? Well, we've got a second room here, haven't we? What's this used for? Next to nothing, I'd imagine. Oh, 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 yeah. I like this big open area. Um, it'd be useful to have water running through. I do think that. And the waterfall is kind of nice down the side. Um, but maybe we can, maybe we should brick up and over this. And then put a secondary floor in, sort of here. Take this top layer out. Oh yeah, George, that sounds good. Then you've got like a swimming pool scenario. Oh no, yeah. With a waterfall, two of. This would be very easy to fill in, fill it. This would be very fill it, fill it. You come out with these words, George, and you don't know how to say them. Fill up, fillable inable. This area is very fillable inable. We know this. We know this. Oh, I'm, I'm having this. I don't think it's necessary on the outside anymore. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Oh my holy moly. Well, well that was an express freight elevator from hell, wasn't it? One small slip up there and it went throwing me out of the house. If you've joined and you're wondering where I'm living, I live in a school. I don't live in a school. I don't live in it full time. Far too scary, far too terrifying. 22 glass blocks. How much sand did we have left? Two. Hmm. We might as well wait for that, haven't we? Well, shut the door, because you just never know who's creeping about, do you? Like that. Unbelievable. How did he get in here? I did not invite you. It's one of those days, isn't it? He's breaking the door down! Wow, oof, that took a moment. Uh, don't ask Pete. Bogle Ober turned up just to write e RIP. Uh, out of all your deaths in Minecraft, which death would you say was the most annoying one? <laughs> Tanto. <laughs> Tanto. Oh, <laughs> Tanto. If you haven't seen the episode where I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an abandoned mine, you haven't seen frustration 
he nearly made me cry. And I'm a proper grown-up. Um, it was horrible. Um, run away. Sometimes you got to know when you're beating this game. They've got nothing on me. I'm literally running around naked as Steve, well, as naked as Steve gets. Just the standard clothes on. Um, do you guys play with skins? Because uh, I just, I don't. I just rock standard Steve. Probably ought to get a skin that you can all recognise as me. But now we've got, we've got embedded. Steve's us now, isn't he? Uh, so the most annoying thousand deaths that I had on the zero death stream. No deaths in this game to this point. Remember Tanto? Don't forget that. But I'll let you ask this one <laughs> this one time, friend. <laughs> uh, was the episode. Uh, speak to Boba Loba. You might know him as something else. Dad, Pops, whatever. I don't like to presume. Uh, and he'll point you in the direction. Once this one's over, because I see him. I see it. I don't, ah! Ouch. He actually gave me a bit of a hurry up. The arrow up the bottom gave me a bit of a hurry up. Which was much needed. Uh, he'll point in the direction of the episode. Uh, I think it's called Arachnophobia. Abandoned mine, Arachnophobia. That was the most annoying death in the zero death stream that I perform for you guys on a daily basis. Quarter past five on a weekday. 3.15... On a weekend, although I might stop streaming at the weekend. Why, George? Why would you do that? Because nothing nice ever happened. Ouch. It's that first step's a doozy, guys. Nothing ever nice happens to me on the weekend streams. Nothing. At all. So don't ever question why I might sack those off. I'm also thinking of adding another game into the rotation. And I've done my research. As far as I can tell, it's child-friendly. So you can all come and join me. But it might start to take place a little bit later than the... He kicked the door down! There he is. He's come to finish me off. He's not had enough scram. He still wants more. Uh, even a pickaxe at this point would deal with this cretin. Go away. No one likes you. Dave the Drowned. No one does. We were busy. Did I leave the door here in stores? No. No. But have I got enough? I had a log I could split. No. Here. Why did I throw that on the floor? Pick it up. Go to the cracking table. Split to planks. Door. That is the most embarrassing door you've ever seen to an evil lair. I think we need to fix that. We need to go get a heavy oak door, don't we? What the? Looks like I live in a barra house. No. That's got its time and its place. It's not got its time and place in School Mountain. What's wrong with this door? I'm going to lose my mind over this dribble. I'm busy. Don't kill me, zombie. There we go. That's nice. It brings a little bit of ambiance into the place. Terrible looking door. Um, you didn't come here to see me make doors. Certainly not. Me. No? Hopefully, I've got glass blocks, 22 of. Let's see if we can put them to good use, eh? Booties on, cuirass on, hat on, trousers on. Didn't have a shield, did I? Still haven't got a shield. We need more steel. There we go. This is, this is the fillable inable section that I was talking about. Am I doing it in the right place? I think I am. Yeah. Might be nicer if it was right on the edge, George. Yeah, the thing about glasses, when you break it, it's broke. So we're going there. I threatened to do this yesterday. And School Mountain has been criminally neglected. I think we're big enough boys now where we can make a good go of this together. Uh, there we go. How's that looking? If you don't like it, I'll smash it down. Oof, crikey. We're very short on glass. If I take glass, let's check. I think you can make stained glass in this game from memory. I think I've done it before. 
Uh, let's search. We're being lazy. You can. What do we need? Um, I think I want purple. Purple. We need purple dye. Hmm. That's fine. This is achievable. We need purple flowers at that rate. They're pink. Ah! Will you go away, drowned man? Let's go on a little mooch around the woods in the local uh, locality. Let's. Pink's close enough, right? We'll get some of this just in case. There we go. Forgot how to mine for a moment there. Right trigger, Georgie boy. You know this. You know this. Um, Tanto's happy with it. If you have six iron, you can make an iron door. But yeah, then we've got the whole drama of the switch to get in and then the switch to close it. Um, and I went through that in the nether and I had to pickaxe it down every time. Tanto again, absolutely solid, 120% points. Um, I didn't really want to make a Minecraft redstone ticker. Um, well, I've got the quartz, could make it I suppose. I think I need steel and lots of other things. Surely. Lilac. Oh, that's what I need. We need pick it up. Pick it up. Peony. We need more of these. Okay, let's find some more of those tall purpley looking flowers and we can put a purple some shape in the glass. We'll get some more sand from somewhere. I don't know where. Around the back of the house. Seemed to grow in this vicinity, didn't it? What's it called again? Lilac. Oh, we'll see. That's an alternative name for purple. Yeah, if you're a girl, there's all these different colours. There's lilac, there's turtle head, turtle head blue, and all this sort of weird like names of colours. The guys, it's just blue. So that's blue. It's teal. No, it's bluey green. It's green or it's blue. It's whatever you can see. It just is the colour it is. Oh, that's a wonderful shade of mauve. And oh, what colour is mauve? Seriously. Uh, oh, oh, that's a nice burger. It's red. That's our men. That's our men's men. Not that I'm Rick. The floating island in Minecraft. Nice to see. There we go. The Minecraft gods, they shine upon us. Uh, wonderful. There we go. Grab it and go. Grab it and go. Grab it and go. He says true. I think Tanto's getting on board with my whole sort of button switch drama that I have. You seem... This would be a great little hideout, wouldn't it? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Let's, uh, what do we need next, gamers? We've got Lilac. Ah! Warning for headphone users. It's going to be drowned around here. I know there is, but I'm willing to put the effort in to get the results out. Sometimes you've got to do that, kids. You've got to put the effort in to get the rewards out. Why? Where's all my digging equipment gone? There we go. As Tanto rightfully says, I should be using a spade. But some could argue I'm a spade short of a construction set. You and I know that. We know that, gamers, but just don't tell. Don't tell the bigger boys. Oh, oh, have I? Is this is this a side seam of our already explored mine? Oh, crikey, uh, very dark. We'll avoid that for now. We're here just basically for sand. Some down there, that's not gonna be that easy to get. And I've also got a severely bad swimming stories to tell in this game. Tanto was here for that, wasn't he? Weren't you, Tanto? Sunday stream. Brutal as ever. Oh, I like all these caves and mountains. Did we end up picking up... Right. I've had enough of that. 
I'm nearly dead. You can eat raw fish. No one knows that. The Japanese will testify to that. I'll add some cooked tape. Rachel, as always, giving it the eat. You right? Eat. Okay, we're good. Zero deaths. Never died once in this game. That's all the long-term fans will testify. If you saw me die at the beginning of the stream, you were mistaken. I misspoke. <laughs> you can say anything. Just say I misspoke. It was an accident. Didn't mean it. Right. Sand in this locality seems to be a little bit harder to come by. I'm just going to chill while my food... Hmm, he's not going to let me, is he? And I don't want to die in... I was about to tell you, I didn't want to die in water. A bit scary when this place regens because there's no walls. I saw the creepers. I did see them down at the bottom of the garden. Hey, Jeepers Creepers. Charles the Creeper. And his friends, Charlene. Ah, you were going to explode, didn't you, weren't you? Then you thought better of it. Off you go. Off your tuddly pop. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. No. No. I tell, you, I tell you what was one of the most annoying deaths in Monstero Death Stream. When I just found Pete the Parrot, and I think you were there for that, Tanto. I just found Pete the Parrot, and I just made the whole, I'm not going to eat, I'm not going to eat anything that's not animal related. I'm not eating anything that's animal related in the game again. Because I've made a deal with Toxis that no more animals will get killed. Pretty honourable thing for me to do, I know. Made the game a lot harder for myself, I know. And I found Pete the Parrot and I realised I was starving and had no food and I was just in the process of going to punch a sheep to death, having struck a bartering deal, and then I died. That was a particularly annoying death. I'm still waiting on someone like Boba Loba with some mad skills on Windows Movie Maker in being an I, uh, Microsoft goo, IT guru. Yes, get him in the chat. Get him by the scruff of his neck. Get him by his beard. It's rather big now. And say to him, why haven't you Why haven't you made him a montage video? Hey, all the good bits compressed down into maybe 10 minutes worth. Which is probably what it would compress down into. All the dog's deaths, everything all down into one go, so people could watch that. A catch-up video, previously on 24. Again, for the younger viewers, content's absolutely on piece. If you don't know what 24 is, it's a good job, because it's not age appropriate for you. But back in the day, um... Oh! Must they say in the trade? Good job I brought spares! Uh, I like that controller. It's not my favourite one, the white one. But, you know, we won't get too lost on that. We've got a controller, it's working, it's charged. We'll go with it. Uh, no death stream. Exactly, Rachel, aka Oscar. Zero death stream. That's what you've got. Never died. Pro gamer. has all my stuff floated away because this has current to it if it has I may have to sob a little bit because uh, I had some good gear in there where did we perish? I thought it was closer than this here we are current has separated it slightly oh, will you stop it? You don't even come up to the surface for me to kill prop. <laughs> Thanks, Tanto. I like the portal too. Although I'm, I am of the belief that the place is cursed. There's more drowned in that moat than there's any given right to be. God, that's frustrating. 
I mean, what is this game? I see the spider. There's a Jack Skell and Bones down here as well. No, he's gone. There he is! Hiding in the shade. No one likes her anyway, Jack Skell and Bones. Off you go. Ouch. Got an arrow in the spine for my troubles. Pull it out and I'll floss with it. The Nerves Beehive's here. That's a new name. Thanks for popping by. Thanks for giving us the time here on this meagre but informative stream we've got going on. Hopefully you know a little bit about Minecraft and if you don't, some lessons in how to and how not to Minecraft I would say. Nervous Beehive. Um, good to have you here. Um, yeah. Oh, while I'm meandering from one place to the other, should we do the shout out list? Feels only right and proper, doesn't it? Uh, Daisy Digby, Carter Dougie, Oscar Lois, Theo, Mimi and Gary, the new joiners, Edward Barker, and George Nolden, um, hey, uh, Harry Traguno, how can I forget? Ouch, Harry Traguno. Lucy Stacey and Robin, ouch, Traguno. Does that skeleton know that I've got no weapons and I'm doing the shout out? I've got an apple. I did get an apple. Uh, Amy, Hannah and Ben, Ellie and Amelia, Devin Zilla and Daddy Zilla, Thomas and Francoise, Nathan and Ronan, Maxi MC Master, Charlie and Oliver, Red AK Steven, uh, Bo Beloba, Toxis and Tanto Ninja, Daniel Ridge, Bobby and Eva, Can You Fly, Bobby Boy, um, Alex and Anna, Annabelle Watts, Ouch, Kane Newby, Million Retro Gamer Thomas, Lily Rose, James, Mark Garage Gamers and Pamela, the wonderful Pam. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all having a good time. If you've been school, homeschooling or working from home, you've managed to circumnavigate the majority of that with as much ease as possible. Yeah, that's my way of saying that you've got a way we're doing. Probably You've got some sort of Microsoft device. You've probably been playing some of the cool games on there, like Mine Minesweeper, not Minecraft. It's probably not on you. It's probably not on your work's laptop. I don't even think uh, what I'm talking about. So even oh, look at all this gorgeous-looking stuff. You can go away. I'm going to punch you to death. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to back up. He took quite a bit of life, that cheeky belter. Sure. Can't eat the apple. Got gunpowder. Hmm. Hmm. Not keen on him. He's making this job very difficult. Very difficult. Another slurp of the G fuel. Remember? Code Georgie Wargy. 0% off your next purchase. Seems like a good deal to me. Seems like a cracking deal. Don't forget, you can just go away, David Drowned. You're taking advantage of me now. Oh, I'll tell you what we could do. We could put the cuirass on. That's going to limit some of his inward bound arrows. Try and find the weapon. I've done. Look, look at me. I'm doing it. I've got a potato. <laughs> Everyone knows these are deadly. Look at him spinning. He's lonely. He just wants some attention so he can show off his cool swimming moves. What's it called, that swimming? Eh? Synchronised swimming. Clues in the name. Ooh. Tanto, you asked me. You deigned to ask me what my most annoying death is. That one. I'm sick to the back teeth of this drowned dude. I've had enough. Did we make spares? What did we make spares of in the stores? I don't think I did. I think I managed to just get enough stuff together to, I got distracted and built this so I could make a, I could make a, I could do that, which is kind of pointless in itself. Oh, well, he's gonna get it. It's the best we got. 
Put on the hat, put on the chainmail hat. I think I've got a gold cuirass in here somewhere. Cat away, cat. No, I haven't. It's amazing what you ain't got when you look for it. Nothing. Less than nothing. Oh, I've gold trousers. Oh, I'm going to look like the cool dude with these on. Gold leggings. <laughs> Coming down the catwalk in this season's hottest clothes, here he is, George from the Unofficial Controller podcast, wearing chainmail hat. No, you don't, friend. I saw him. Don't really want to waste the arrows on him when I need to stick one right in that nether, in that, uh, drowned. Another arrow and a bone on the way, though. All helps. Benzie Sabzo. Say hi to Nick. Nick Gurr. Hi, Nick Gurr. I hope you well. Uh, is that your other name, your pseudonym? Is that your pen name, Ben Stabo? Are you actually Nick Gurr, or do you want me to say hi to Nick Gurr because he's a friend of yours? Uh, either which way, welcome to the stream. If you're here, and you're at least a little bit curious, click like. And if you're like, well, actually, he seems all right, click subscribe. Let's be honest, right, and I don't mean to pry, but you subscribe to far worse than this on YouTube. <laughs> you have. Yes, you are, Sunbeam. You've, you've, you subscribed to some right chill, I can tell. Um, so you might as well add me to that list. You've got a penchant for nonsense. You've not gone full nonsense unless you've followed the Unofficial Controller podcast streams on YouTube. That's right. I'm on the, I'm on the drive to 50 mil subscribers. We'll get there. We'll get there. You, me, Nick Gurr, we'll get a chariot, we'll attach it to the back of a horse, and we'll ride it through, we'll ride it through Minecraft Towers. You don't like, ah, you're going to regret that, aren't you? Yeah, that was an unfortunate miss. There we go, he's perished. Give me some arrows, as a thank you, we're back up to six, so it's kind of like I didn't waste any in the first place. I saw it. The little, sneaky little rat. Right the side of his head. There you go. Off your pop. You're not welcome round here. George, you've left yourself with three arrows to finish off that drown that keeps killing you in that river that you're trying to get all your stuff back from him. Ha ha ha, yes. You say that. Um... And you're absolutely right. I have made a little bit of a faux pas. But as always, we'll recover from it. If I die in that river this time, in my zero death stream, I'll have learnt my lesson probably. Sergeant Turner, Nick Gurr means the Oh, of course, I was trolled. Hmm. Thing is, with my accent and the way I said it, to be fair, couldn't even tell. Got away with it. It's hard to stream and read your chat. Let's face it, did I get trolled? Because my accent's unintelligible in the first place. Uh, well, either which way, you best like now. And you best subscribe now. <laughs> you piece of work. You've got nothing better to do than too busy homeschooling. I'm sure the unofficial controller police will deal with him in no uncertain terms. Click bish bosh. Done. Dealt with. There he is. I see him. Unbelievable. Get out. Thanks, Sergeant Turner. You were a decent chap coming around, giving me the knowledge. You better uh, like and subscribe. You were. You were. You were trolled. I'm someone. Got to be someone. Got to be someone worthy of getting trolled if you get trolled. That's what I'll say. They've been trying for weeks. Got the brewing stand. It's partially the reason why we're here in the first place. 
we've got some sand, we've got all this other stuff, brilliant, collect, collect, we needed those purple flowers, we've got everything we needed, there we go, we got away with it, we got away with it, you have to be kidding me, I've only just got rid of my curse, Right, well you can have an arrow in the face, can't you, Pillager? There you go. One of my special... Oh, wait. And that shows you, the, shows you the error of your ways, going with a crossbow, doesn't it? Your rate of fire is too slow. Ouch. Mm. So, another episode... Another full episode with the curse on the screen. Absolutely awesome. Brilliant. It never brings them anyway, does it? Never brings them anyway. Right, here we go. We're in. Shut the door. Make some glass. Where is the sand? There we go. Two blocks. The slurp of the OG fuel. Don't forget code Georgie Poos. That'll get you nothing off. Get you less than nothing off. It'll increase the price by at least three pounds. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fill that in in purple. I know, George, why are you gonna do that? It it's gonna end up looking like a duck. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> a purple duck. What do we need to make yellow dye? Let's go down. Is it the Gazzles Games flowers? Here we are. Let's have a look. Uh, is there a yellow? Because we could do a yellow for the bill. Yellow stained glass. Where's yellow dye? This episode's bizarrely going to all be about dyes. Yellow dye. It's the Gazzles Games flower. As if it wasn't obvious enough. Let's go upstairs. Let's go sleep off the... Uh... You see those that mock me, they come in here and troll. They have not got a skull base. They haven't got a base, right, in a mountain that looks like a skull. It's pulling its chest open to reveal a nether portal. They haven't got anything like that. Yeah? They're just jealous. They've clicked like, they've clicked like, they've clicked subscribe. Oh, look at this snow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, do you know what? Skull Mountain's really starting to get underneath my... Starting, I'm starting to get into the idea that we could make a full-time house here. Look at that. Oh, and as the sun rises, the snow goes. That, that is what makes Minecraft the most realistic game. You can take your red deads, you can take all that other drivel, you can stick it, right? This is the most realistic game out there. You know that and I know that. You know what this place hasn't had yet? I don't know where to put it yet. I think on this wall here, yes. We will arrange all of our banners. Yes, that looks good. We'll also get some glowstone next time we go to the farm. I think we've got quite a bit. Did we have some here? No. What about here? None. None. Less than none. Less than none. And I've lost that... Hmm, I've lost that quartz block, haven't I? That's unfortunate. I think we've probably already overreached ourselves, so I should probably just make some... Uh, Stained glass. Oh, I need to make the die. You need to make the die first. Are you kidding? Of all the things that we lost down there, we lost the actual purple flowers that we need. Of course we did. That's a cruel irony of Minecraft, isn't it? That's the cruel, 
cruel pain of Minecraft. Unbelievable. Here we go. Is it still floating about somewhere that we missed? Up on here? No. No, nothing. Unbelievable. Should we have made our base in the floating rock? Probably. Probably. Probably should have. Not to worry. We can make that another day, can't we? We can make a castle on a floating rock, just like Howl's. What's this? A little tight. Hmm. I enjoyed that. Actually quite more than I should have done. Okay. What's going on here, gamers? I'm trying to make sta stained glass. It's all we want to make. Shouldn't be so difficult, should it? We had some lilac flowers before. That's peony. Everyone knows that. Unbelievable. Could end up being a pink stained glass window, isn't it? Uh, I thought I saw something out the corner of my eye, that was all. Look at those scaling bones. Tell you what, I told you this, I'll tell you again. Dangerous place. The uh, very dangerous place, School Mountain. Seems to attract all sorts of strange people. Um, it's probably why we live there. That's our call. That's our make. That's our decision to make. We ain't got this elect. We ain't got that. We ain't got nothing. We made that gamers together. Oakley dokely. Looking for some more lilac flowers. What's the chances? Roll the dice, gamers. Tell me what we're going to find. Lilac flowers or nothing? What's the sum in that? Yeah, I think there was. You know around the lake that we take a left turn at, right turn at, Clyde? Whichever which way around it is. I think there's some there. Which means we need to head in this direction. Oof. This looks like I was here, doesn't it? Look at this. It's the sort of mess I would make. Not left it pretty. Not followed the countryside code, have I? No. You're safe from me. I don't hit people. This is where we lost Golden Horse, isn't it? Who, bizarrely, out of all the animals, is the one that survived. This is me desperately, yes, around here, wasn't it? Somewhere. Yeah, so close to home, yet so far, ultimately. Very savage episode, that was. The man without the Golden Horse. And we found him. But by that point in time, our favourite dog, Ruff, had already bit the dirt. Again, Minecraft's a very, very savage game. Very hard game. Very hard game. Here's the uh, pond I was referring to. Come at it from a bit. Well, there's cows everywhere. There they are. See? I've got a memory like a sieve. Stuff goes in. Gets kind of trapped on the netting. It's fine. Loads of it. Mine. That's not very sustainable, George. I'm not bothered. Well, I am a little bit bothered. We'll leave one. You never know from that good things might come. There we go. One cop. I'm not bothered. One will do. There's some sand there as well, which I'm going to punch with a purple flower. Makes sense to me. 
Give peace a chance. Lovely. If anyone sees any yellow flowers, shout. If anyone sees any of those little Gazzles Games flowers, you shout at me, because we'll get those. Whoa! As if by magic, look out! There's a whole field of them! Minecraft is being kind to me. Minecraft is being kind. I'll take all it. I'll take... I don't want your sympathy, but I'll take all your prayers. There we go. Boom. Chronicles of a Gamer. He would support us with that. He knows what I'm on about. This way back. Let's see what uh, we can make with the sand and the glass. See if we can make our duck in the stained glass window. Let's face it, it's bonkers enough as it is. We might as well have a stained glass duck window. It's, it's happened that way naturally, so we might as well embrace it. No! You don't just catch me out the corner of my eye like that, oh, Charles Creeper. Got to give me a chance to uh, abat you. Okay, I'll take the apple and the stick. As you know, gamers, I've got a ponch on for dirt. We've got some remodelling to do at home, so we'll take it. Why not? Piggy's safe. We don't hit animals in the stream. Unless I'm getting absolutely wound up by them, because they won't move in or out their pen. Or I'm throwing eggs at chickens. That has happened, but it was an accident. Toxic, it was an accident. Tantel backed me up, he saw it. Not on purpose. Any animal deaths now are accidentally on purpose. <laughs> no, there's no animal deaths. That's why the animals don't leave the house. It'd be nice to have maybe the dog with me for a bit of company, but I can't run that risk anymore. So he's locked inside, literally in purgatory for the rest of his days. This was the viewing platform we built as we built School Mountain. Beautiful. I'm starving, I'll eat an apple. Retro Gamer Thomas is here. Where were you when I needed you? I'm joking. I know you've probably already busted your spinal column to get back in time. You're an essential worker. I praise you. I praise you. Good news is, I've got some plum loaf. Mumsy pop round, social distance, threw a plum loaf at me with a note about sustainability she put on there. If you've already got one, you could freeze this. Mm, unfortunately, Mumsy, I don't think that far ahead. I'm like one meal away from death at any point in time. I don't look after myself as well as I should. Um, have I still got those tates? Yes, eat tates, eat. <laughs> Well, I've nearly run out of G Fuel. Code Georgie boy. As I say, get 0% off. Cracking deal. Let's put that in there. Let's go to the table. Let's make ourselves the purple dye. Ah, ah, ah. Magenta. <laughs> That's purple in my eyes. And yellow dye. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back to the crafting table. That means we can make, where is it? Building block. Eight. Oh, your belter, that's, that's labor intensive, isn't it? Uh, oh, it's all right, it's all right. We might, we might be able to get away. Uh, mm, yeah, well, that could work. That could work, couldn't it? So it's recessed. Give it a little bit of nuance. The stained glass duck. Take a plum, take a pick of your plum loaf and email me a slice. I like what you're doing there, but that's my plum loaf. Right, you've got food to share. If I give you a slice of that on the email, it disappears out of the plum loaf. Uh, and I like to think that uh, your good lady, the beautiful Donna, there's many Donnas in the stream that cook. Uh, but the beautiful Donna Gamer Thomas. Can I hear a dead cretin kicking my door down, or am I dreaming that? 
Yes, I can. Unbelievable. I've had it with you, friends. Away with you! There's another one queued up to have a go. As Grotbags would say, there's somebody at the door. Repeat ad infinitum. There's somebody at the door. What have we got? Got glass? Boom. We've got George. You ain't got the brains you're born with, boy. What are you doing? There we go. Now we can make some yellow stained glass. Can we now make... What do you think? Do I recess it? Should we try? No, we can't really, can we? So, oh God. These stairs are a death trap. Living in the family's old rustic pile is all well and good, but the stairs here are an absolute... Yeah, I think I want to recess it. I'm going to recess it. If I regret this, okay, we've only got to collect more sand and flowers, of which there was a finite amount. Nine, nine. Okay, we can maybe get away with it. Magenta, which in my eyes is purple. Don't argue, girls out there. Like magenta's two shades different to purple, George. You've got no idea what you're talking about. If I painted my wall purple or magenta, it'd be the same colour. Right. Stained glass. There we go. Same drivel with this game every time. Uh, and this one, down here. Let's move it down here. There we go. So we're going to put this in for the duck's bill. Oh, crikey, now. I didn't expect that to happen, did I? I forgot. Damn it. Can I just get that gone? Mm. Ah, it'll sort itself out. It'll fix itself in the edit. It's all right. I'm going to go quiet. Probably ought to stick my tongue out. That's the sign of a concentrating person. When they've got the tongue sticking out, you know, they're concentrating. Very hard. There you go. Whack, whack. That's a duck, in it? Look. This is because it's Lincolnshire. We call everyone duck. It's the duck window. George, have you gone completely bonkers? Yeah. Yeah, I have. A duck stained glass window. Tell me. Tell me. Another Minecraft YouTuber that's got a badly proportioned duck stained glass window in his save game. Ian. You show me one and I'll show you a liar. That's what we'll do. There we go. Pro gamer. Pro gamer bro points there. Absolutely brilliant. The pulsating nether portal in the chest. Next level. In we go. All done in survival as well. I didn't float around like a floating head in creative, did I? Gonna get myself a bit of shut eye. <sighs> to be fair, from a distance, it's probably gonna end up looking like something completely vulgar, but you're on board with me. This started out completely innocently. It looks like a duck to me. I don't know a lot about anything, as you can tell. That looks like a duck to me. Let's go back and get some glowstone and get this house looking. And see if we can get a better door than this, gamers. Yeah, this door is not working for me in regards to an evil lair. It's the only way in or out. It's a tradesman's entrance. That looks a bit weak. Should we make a piston? We need steel for that, though, don't we, gamers? We need sticky pistons, so we'd need slime. We won't be making one of those anytime soon. Because I haven't come across any slimes. And they do naturally occur in the game. If we excavated a massive pit in one of the in one of the mines, if we excavated a big enough area, they would spawn in there naturally, wouldn't they? Some of the pro Minecrafters already know this. You're telling me stuff I already know, George. Yeah, but not everyone knows, okay? Not everybody knows. They spawn on big flat areas, normally underground. In the same vicinity as you'd find diamonds. At least when I was a Minecrafter, that's where you'd find a slime. Might be different now. Tell me if I'm wrong. Go to the nether. All right, well, when we get back... Mm. We, could go, we could just go to the nether and get some glowstone from there, couldn't we? Yeah, the chat hath spoken. 
You want me to go to the nether? I shall go to the nether. Some of the uh, some of the other fans are just going to be looking through gripped fingers like, George, don't go to the nether, mate. Why would you go there? After everything you've been through today, why would you just pick to go there? That seems frightfully foolish. Yeah. Well, I'm, what sort of stone? What is this? Everyone knows, you look at glass in Minecraft, you can break it. Uh, what wood was that? Oak. We'll have this. It's naturally fallen in the forest. Seems only right we harvest it. Sustainability. Fish bash bosh. Is there any other fallen logs before we go to the nether? No. We'll just take one. We'll take one tree. Seems only right and proper. There we go. From that, from that, we should be able to make a new door. Silver so birch. It's not doing it for me. Yeah, that door. No, no, no self-respecting person can look at that and think that's good. Go to the nether. Mm, I don't have any food. Let's just see what the crack is here first. Let's ditch all the stuff that we've created. Probably put our armour on as well. Let's make the door. Let's make the door. Planks. Oakwood door. It's a dark oakwood door I want, but this is slightly upgraded from what we've got. Probably going to get stabbed in the back by a drowned. One day I'll get this inventory system down pat. There we go. It kind of fits in a little bit better, doesn't it? It's not quite as easily seen. Like I say, when I beat the Ender Dragon, we can all come on the Minecraft stream together. We can all come on the stream together and we can have an after party to celebrate. We'll have the Ender Dragon's head on the wall. We'll do it. We'll get there. Just got to show some patience. Right. Torch got. Uh, I need... We'll get another rack when we get there. I've got 34 dirt. I would not imagine that's enough. Get rid of that glass. Don't need the bone. Got one arrow. As much use as that is. Tanto Ninja. All this time I had a spade. Iron shovel. Sorry. Should have known. My invoice, my uh, inventory management's poor. To say the least. We can eat fish. Got those beetroots to plant back at the farm as well. Go to the nether, go to the nether. Why am I going to the nether? I've got everything I need here, thank you. Right, sticks. Because I think there's feathers in here. One feather. How many arrows can we make? One. <laughs> Fine, we've got five. That'll do. Don't need that, don't need the flowers. To be taking the Gazelle's Games flowers with us. You have fish. Yes, I'm aware of my fish. I'm aware of my fish. Get rid of that. And I think we're all good. I'll put my armour on. Oh my goodness. I look alright, Bobby Dazzler, don't I? With my mishmash of... Uh, Let's leave these leggings. Let's leave the leggings. Okay, we're going to leave the leggings. There we go. We'll go to the nether. We'll get stuck in our underground portal when we magic back. Up the stone stairs to bed. This way. Did I hear Enderman? this. Would you tame a duck if they were in the game? Of course I would. I have fish for trade tea. 
Life, Im life imitating art, imitating life, retro gamer Thomas. Tell me, in very explicit detail, what the wonderful Donna has prepared you for your tray tea. Tanto Ninja, I know that your oven is broken. I'm getting very relaxed. I've got my feet up. I've moved the chat to my right hand side. Uh, yeah, that's working for us. If you don't mind, I don't mind. If you don't mind, I don't mind. We were thinking ahead this day, gamers. Well, we look at all this cool stuff we've put in here. Obsidian, cooked beef. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me I prepared this? I prepared this little stronghold. And then I filled this chest with things I might need to keep me alive in the nether. Millie berries, the whole bag of tricks. Operate the door. Uh, hmm. Let's put the digging materials down in the quick venue bar. I've brought a hoe from the farm all the way to the nether. So that's not good thinking, that. We haven't brought a war axe because we've been conned into the nether by Oscar. Uh, and we haven't brought what we would use as traditional weapon. Yeah, definitely tame a duck. To be honest, Tanto, let me ask you this. Let me pose you a question, Tanto. If a chicken is in the water in Minecraft, is it technically a duck? Mind blown. Mind blown. Tanto's picking his brains up. They've just, they've just turned into mush. And fell out of his ear. He's like, I never thought that. I've never thought that through. Maybe they are ducks. Because they look a bit like ducks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If chickens are in the water in Minecraft, are they ducks? Riddle me this. That's all I'll say. Get me the answer to that one. Send the answer on a postcard to questions at unofficialcontrollerpodcast.com. So write it on a postcard and then take a picture of it and then send it on email. I know it's a bit weird, but it's how we operate. Kids have got no idea what I'm going on about. Mums and dads all over the stream are saying, oh wow, that's really quite retro. I remember having to do that to win a, I don't know, a signed Rickassi t-shirt or some other nonsense that we Why did I never spot this? When I spotted that over there, I was like, ooh, look at that, and a fortress. Never spotted this, did I? No. Is he Hello, piggy. No is the answer you're looking for. We'll take this though. I guess. You see he's like, oh crikey, I never really thought that. No, I'm a bit confused. I don't know whether... Cause do they make chicken noises when they're underwater? No. How would a duck look different to a chicken in the game? Come here for glowstone. A natural illumination source. Of the nether. But while I'm here, I'll take all this quartz for the easy levels. Easy. It's like taking candy from a baby. Ouch. I definitely earn a nether enderman then. Glowstone's awfully high up, isn't it? Did I do this? this the right way. I think 
I'm just going to have to keep pillaring up. I'll take this. Don't waste that on that. Use this. Always use your worst pickaxe first, gamers. Damn it. It's alright, brought spare steel. One. A little bit unfortunate, really. I didn't bring something a little bit worse. Why can't I go straight up? That's annoying. Oh, moly moly. There's a reason. Millie's here. I ate the berries and she arrived. The ducks would or should be yellow. They might be the only main difference. Got you thinking though, Anna, Tante. Got you thinking there, friend. Millie's here. Panic over. The stream can continue. The stream can continue. I thought I was going to have to cancel the whole stream. Um, but, you know, it can continue. I'm the biggest fan. I mean, goodness knows what you've got better, what you've got going on that's better than watching this stream right now, Millie. There's nothing. No disrespect. Okay? But what we're locked down and all, there's nothing better going on than this stream on the internet right now. There's no soaps. There's none of that drivel. There's no Ollie Oaks or whatever you girls watch these days. It's all cancelled. I ought to save this pickaxe for my glowstone. Which is there. It's now within reachable distance. That's what we came for. That good stuff there. Now let's just line ourselves up. Have I brought enough blocks? Hmm. Yeah. Will it let me exit from here? Of course it will. Beautiful. Gotta love Minecraft logic. Can't hit a bad guy from this distance, but I can mine glowstone. This is how we're going to illuminate Skull Mountain. I think her new room and projector might have something to do with her absence, Retro Gamer Thomas said. I get that. But what I all I get from that is... All I get from that is... Why aren't you watching Minecraft in your bedroom? On the projector and the big screen. you got a plus four in there. Okay. I've got feelings, Millie. Okay. I've got feelings. You've been watching another YouTuber, have you? Unbelievable. Right. Let's... <laughs> other YouTubers are available, of course. I'm only mucking about. Hopefully you uh, you knew that. Right, let's get back down where we were. Oh, crikey, that feels like a long one. There we go, we'll ride the dirt elevator down. Look at this. Finster Gamers here, with his cats, Horatio Nelson and Commander James Wolfe. Heroes of the British Empire. They're a little bit of a mouthful, those names, so we just call them Brian and Andrew, for short. Don't ask me why, there is cats. I didn't name them, did I? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Finster the gamer. It's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, there we go. Crikey, gamers! One hour twenty. I get two hours every night, absolutely free. I don't know what the BBC would charge you for this. Quite a bit of money, I reckon. Zero pounds, zero pence from me. Not a penny, not a dime. And you'd have to send, just think, if you wanted to get someone on the TV, 
other than me to read out a story, like to say hi or get on the shout out list, you'd have to send some some bizarre amount of money to a text. Cost you a pound, wouldn't it? A message. Unbelievable. Not here. This is like the little of high entertainment. You don't pay much. Nothing. But you get a lot of you get a lot back. You get a hell of a lot back. All I ask, and it's not much, is that you click like on the video. See what I did there? Slick. Sorry, George, I'll make sure to be on time. Listen, Millie, I was I was mucking about. I was you take all the time in the world, Gav. Alright? This stream will wait. You've got your nice little pad going on there now, haven't you, with the projector? Yeah, yeah, I have. If you're chilling in there, that's fine. Content will wait. You can pretend to, uh, when you're pretending to homeschool tomorrow, you can have it You can have it on, on your phone, hidden in a book. Cut the inside of your textbook out, stick your phone in the middle of it. Boom. Here we are, but don't panic. Because last time we ended up here, we panicked. But I fixed it. I think I fixed it. Here we go. It's the Twin Peaks secret entrance into the woods that we used to skip between realms. I'm starving. Eat a milliberry. Vince does have a haircut. Oh, well, look what I've done, Millie. You're going to love this. Because I know that I'm always going to... Look at me. Ah. Damn it. That was unfortunate. Mm. Because I always know that I'm going to come out of the nether and be hungry, planted loads of mini berries in your honour, either side of the secret, very strange Narnia-like portal that appears in the wood. That's strange, George. Are you sure you're all right? No. I don't know. I'm, no, <laughs> probably not. Okay, which way is Skull Mountain from here? We need to get ourselves some verticality on the situation. Go away! They don't like it when you give them what they give you, do they? They don't like it in this game. Bullies. We don't like bullies in the stream. Right, here we go. Let's have a little look, see? Where's any one of our large pillars? Invisible to the naked eye. Pillager. You see me any? Do you reckon I could get him from here? Am I good enough shot? Yes! Three times the charm, dudes. I'm all out of arrows. How can I be? I am. No point moping about it. You're all out of arrows. I'll have to finish him off with a pickaxe through the eyeball. Done. Tell you what, that bow's coming handy, isn't it? I'm in a real tree. Anyone remember the way home from here? Because I can't. Tanto, nice shot. That's what I was thinking. Pro gamer. Maybe we should do a Fortnite stream. Watch me hide in the bush for an hour and sneak out and get a victory royale. <laughs> Sneaking. That's how we play the game. How you would in real life. Uh, is this the lake? I don't think this is the lake somehow. Evidence. I think I was here. Mm, go to the nether, go to the nether. Go to the nether, yeah, great idea. Come back, get lost in the process. Hmm. That looks like something. I'm going to check that out. 
I only really went for the glowstone. And I reckon I've got glowstone in my cupboard at the farm. This has all been a rather pointless exercise. But, you know, you like me to go to the spooky nether, don't you? You like me to see me have a little ferret around in the nether. We pretty much managed to don the nether now. There's no threat to us there. Not for the pros. No threat in the nether for us gamers. None at all. Tanto. Here's another Minecraft conundrum for you, right? This silver birch. This silver birch here is a fine example of a silver birch. If a tree falls in Minecraft, does it make a noise? Because we know when trees get old like this, they fall and die in the wood naturally. Here's where it was growing. Here is where it has fallen. Does it just, is it possible to witness a tree fall in Minecraft or does it just sort of spawn there? And if so, when? And if so, how? Lots of questions for you about this game. Lots of questions. No one seems to know the answers to my Minecraft questions. Nobody. Well, this is nothing, there's nothing familiar about this. Not at all. You'd think I'd recognise this great big gash in the landscape. Never seen it before. Ooh, it's interesting. Minecraft landscape, I like it. Careful, care, crouch. Crouch, gamers. It's like the, uh, some sort of Lord of the Rings th vibe going on there. I like it. Whoa, holy hell, that's a long way down. He says, throwing himself down it without any thought of life or limb. Bish, bash, bosh, ouch. I'm okay, survived it. An egg. Did it spawn or did a chicken birth it? Again, you don't know the answers, do you? My brain's hurting retro game and Thomas has had an embolism. Millie, I don't know when, but there is another update coming to Minecraft soon. To make it more, to make it scarier? Hmm, I think, if that was in, if that was in a pond, that would be a duck. Now you see what I'm going on about, Tanto. Right. Where the hell are my houses in this game? Nowhere. I made two very big high things so they can easily be spotted at distance. Wow, look at me, pro builder. Right. Cross of Wayne. That's the Cross of Wayne, isn't it? It's got to be. That means Skull Mountain's over here somewhere. Nowhere. Keep building. Hmm. Hmm. Is there a draw distance in this game? Evidence, it's on hard mode. Sometimes you question me, is this on hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Uh, render distance, max render. Damn you. Let's pretend that is the cross of Wayne. Go to the nether, they said. It'd be good, they said. He 
slot though, is it? Ugh. Eat Millie Berries. Eat them. Eat them. <laughs> Head in that direction randomly and pray. We've now wasted a solid 15 minutes getting back to our dwelling. You're a duck, confused and lacking water. Let me know in the chat if you've ever seen a Minecraft tree fall down. So I'll be fascinated to talk to you. There we go. Up we go. Up we go. Let me know in the chat if you've got any VHSs. You don't want any more. Mum's moaning at Dad to get rid of. What? Well, he's gone down the tip. The blooming useless. The video player don't work. You bought all that, spent all that money on Blu-rays. Yeah, I'll take your VHSs. Take your waifs, your strays, your unloved, your uncared for. That's definitely the cross of Wayne. Gotta be. Cross of Wayne leads you in the eternal dark. It's always there for us. Pillar, a beacon, a substitute for the love that we do not get. A lonely game of life that we lead. I'm seeing no evidence of our blot on the landscape like existence that we have. There's the fountain of Wayne. That's why we couldn't see School Mountain Games. We were blooming miles away, weren't we? I still don't know where that little hole in the ground is that we come out from when we go to the nether. It's all very bizarre, isn't it? It's all very bizarre. You go through one portal, you come back through another one. But anyway, I like to think that the uh, improvements at the School Mountain are going well. Don't ask dogs. I don't even want to tell you about it. It's been horrible. Pete, the parrot, he wants to dance. Of course he does. There's the record. Record. Swap it for glowstone. Dance, Peter! Oh, need to break the one in the hole. No, because I've tried that and it still puts me back there. So... No, Oscar, that's not working for me. Uh, I hate close down here somewhere. I've got, I'm starting to get a vast array of weird things. I've got a bucket of milk. I've got a puffer fish. I've got a water bottle. Sunflowers, magma creams. Five diamonds. Shh, don't tell the neighbors I've got diamonds. Play with the cat. I've got one ender pearl. I deserve more, way more. Uh, beetroot seeds. Oh! But I haven't got. We'll put these in the produce bin. Next time we get a bit of spare time, remind me and we'll plant the beetroot seeds. It's night time. Don't go there now, George. You're going to regret that, friend. You're going to regret it. Have I got any feathers here? Oh. How many feathers in stock? Play with a cat? No one knows. Yeah, I've got glowstone coal dogs with, haven't I? Feathers. One. Are you kidding me? Surely I've got more feathers than that. Nine. Fantastic. We've got flint at the other crib. Brilliant news. Let me get my head down. Jump and sleep. It's been a while. Pete loves that music. Yes, he does. Not after a while. Well, every single time we've tried it, it's happened. Okay? Just roll over and admit defeat. I like the little... I like... I like... The little hole that we appear in now. It's kind of part of the journey. Skeleton Bones is down. I want to get a hit on him. At least one for the XP. Did that count? Did that register? Perish, will you? I wanted the arrows. 
It wasn't very generous. Lily Berries, it's breakfast time. Got a pat bed. We need to start the day right, did we? we need to start the day right. Get the Lily Berries down. Isn't Remember to tell all your school friends, remember to tell all your work colleagues, remember to tell all the mums in the Facebook MySpace chat group that you're on, to pop by, like and subscribe. I don't think any of you have done what I've asked. None of you have. Some of you have, but none of you have, but none of you have put in as much effort as I am right now. You go to work, you sat talking to your friend, so what did you do last night? You dance say. You dance say I watched a bloke, a grown up, play Minecraft for two hours. But it's time you did. Because that person sat at home trying to find new content to watch when they get in. And you never know them. I said, you know what? I didn't like Minecraft, but the camaraderie shit that I've that I've that I've enjoyed with George in those hours, in those in those in those blessed hours, I feel like I got to know him like a friend. And now, like you. Every time I sit down, because I'm all caught up now, when I'm all caught up at night time, I feel like I'm talking to my friend. I had my tray tea, made a right little routine out of it. Have you? Oh yeah. I mean, I even got a console. I ain't even got a PC capable of running anything other than Candy Crush. Really? Yeah. But I sit and watch you stream all night, every night. Well, I didn't think you'd be into it. Well, why didn't you recommend it to me sooner? Because he's done 25 hours, two hours an episode. It took me nearly three weeks to get caught up. I'm so sorry. It's better than Game of Thrones. Well, um, oh God, yeah. Then they're going to guilt trip you. You don't want a guilt trip. So unless you've hassled everybody in your phone contacts, unless you've warbled on to everybody, to come, like the show, watch an episode. You've not tried hard enough. I don't ask for much. Like I say, the BBC would want £120 a year off you for this. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And this is free. Well, he makes a solid point, Maureen. Fire up the MySpace book. Fire it up. Let me get on to Frida, tell her about the Minecraft stream. He's made an absolutely solid point. Let me log in, because I want to like his videos. He's a sense talker. I like him. I like the cut of his jib. There we go. One arrow. Surely. But sticks. Saw him. Corner of my eye. Boom. Where's, where's the flint? It's in here somewhere. Can't see it for looking. There it is. Bottom shelf. Boom. Go back over to the crafting table, make some of my... I'm like the Robin Hood of Minecraft, seven arrows. Hit with every single one of them. Snipes, elite. Hmm. Look at that. It's much more's here. He's got his tray tea. Good lad. He understands. He knows what this stream's about. And by the way, if you Sega and you don't hit much more... I ask you, you're probably a Nintendo fanboy and probably a little bit lonely. So get yourself a Sega Dreamcast, okay, and get online with it's much more. That's where it's at. No doubt there's a homebrew hack of Minecraft for the Dreamcast, the most powerful console on planet Earth. I'm being deadly serious as well. It would run this. Easy. Right, let's make this home that we're in a home of the future uh let's get some glowstone lights in the place up in the sh uh, in the his isles uh i had i had dream cast my ears pricked up <laughs> you see my sega brings all the boys to the yard and damn right satin and Dreamcast are better than yours i can teach you but you'd have to mega drive as soon as you're here dude what do you think to my purple stained glass duck window it's a work of art it's a work of art. Make sure you comment with the words work of art. Else you're banned from the stream. Um, Dreamcast. Are you still are you still bequeathing me? What do I need to do? What how much uh, come on. Police snorts, talk to me. Talk to me. Right, let's get these, let's get these down. What do I need to do? Do I need to send you pictures of me in a compromising position? 
do what I need. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to that. I ran down to the post box this morning hoping that my uh, copy of Snatcher had turned up, but no. No, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for that, I feel. Going to take a little bit longer than that. Okay, let's stick the glowstone down there. There we go. So this place now is going to be completely illuminated through the medium of glowstone. I need to get up there. There. That was foolish. That was equally as foolish. What a waste of glowstone, boy. Still, you've done what you've done now. You've committed. And to be fair, I, do I need a staircase up so I can look out the eyes? Mega CD version for Snatcher, yes. Dreamcast up to 6 billion players. There you go. Sega does what Nintendo. All of you absolutely nailing it. It's a repro. It's a repro before you get carried away. Repro Game Labs. I got recommended him to me a long time ago. And the other day, seeing as I've reset all the Sega up in the retro room, as I call it, loosely for you guys. Actually, Car and Doggy's room. But they, they won't mind. They're cool with it. Uh, there we go. Look at all this now. Now the duck will illuminate at night time. People are looking, they're like, that's nice. I don't know if they'll say it like that precisely, but they might. There we go. We are all the mod cons here now. Maybe we could move here full time now. What do you reckon? Or is it still too dangerous? If you want a drink cask, got a spare one you can have. Well, no, I've got drink cask coming out of my ear rolls. Uh, <laughs> I might not have as many as you, but uh, last time I went in stores, I only got at least three drink casks. Uh, yeah, there was a time where you could pick them up cheap, but now, probably not. Uh, I did have one that had the broken... I think I've got enough in stores to make a good one out of a bad one, if that makes sense. Um, I think one um, needs a new battery, but it was worse than that. And I think that same one has got the controller port issue. And I'm sure I've got another one kicking around somewhere. Uh, they're breeding, I'm sure they are. I've got original PlayStation 1 seem to have adopted a breeding pattern as well. I stumbled across another one in the loft the other day. I was like, what the hell were you thinking? How many of these do you need? Um, I don't know the answer to that without sounding like a complete collectomaniac. So, uh, yeah, let's get the side angle on the duck window. Don't forget to, don't forget, if you're enjoying the retro console chat, click like. Tell everyone in your my book about it. Get them down here. Get them down here. Get them subscribed. Get your gran on the phone. She's lonely. She's isolating. Oh, that, that doesn't even look like a duck, George. You should be so proud of yourself. Your gran's lonely. She's isolating. She can't even get a hug. But have you got one in the kiosk? Brap, brap. Well, absolutely not. Retro Gamer Thomas is ordering his copy from Snatcher. Uh, like I said, it's a recommendation to me. If it turns up and it's the guy who's just scribbled on some CDs with pen, <laughs> don't blame me. <laughs> but the, the website, Retro Game Labs, uh, and the guy's got a pretty good standing in the Sega community as far as I'm aware, as far as I've been led to believe. I keep checking on there to see if there's a fan-translated patch of Sega Gaga. As again, and again, as always, I'm sure the nine-year-olds are thinking, now I've put that glowstone in there, it looks like a duck wearing a shower cap. <sighs> That's a little bit embarrassing. That's a little bit embarrassing for me. Does it look like a duck wearing a shower cap from every angle? <laughs> yes, it does. 
Uh, it's £16.95 delivered for a copy of Snatcher from there. I know it ain't real, but do you know what? It looks, for all intents and purposes, for your collection, very, 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 very good. It's got um, it's got a label on it. The uh, they've recreated Snatcher down to its minutest of details. So I think it's even got a burnt etched um, CD. Oh, George, really? Yeah, I'm not even kidding you. And it comes in the classic double fold Mega CD UK PAL format for looking at. Did that look better with torches? Be honest with me, gamers. Tanto, Millie, you've got an eye for the detail. I went glowstone. Now it looks like he's got his eyes half closed, doesn't it? Would that look better? It's night time. We'll go check out the duck in its full glory. Would that look better with torches? Somehow I'm thinking it would. Ouch. Third step's a doozy. Uh, you love the glass. Tanto loves the glass. Good. Second question. Is the glowstone a misstep? Or do you think it's it's looking pretty good? Give the duck feet so it has legs with yellow glass. I like to think of it as a swimming duck. It's a duck that's swimming. That's why I do the, did the flat. I think if I stuck legs on it, it would start to look a bit strange. Let's get a bit closer. Oh, I see the jack scaling bones. Yeah, now it looks like it's got a hat. That's fine. It's fine. It's a double edged piece of art. From the inside, it looks like a badly drawn duck. From the outside, it looks like a dug with duck. <laughs> a dug. That's Scottish for dog. Is a dog. Um, I did my best, Doogie. I was doing my best. Okay, I didn't mean to insult your kind. I don't want you to ride down here on a polar bear with your face painted blue, stab my eyes out, and then drink iron brew over my rotten corpse. I apologise. I take it back. It's a bad impression, and I've learned my lesson. You see that, gamers? I've mentioned it before, but if you if you draw your arrow and then go like, oh no, I don't want to kill that guy or I made a mistake. Just use your quick menu to skip to something else. Also eat. I'm not doing that. Thank you as always. <laughs> Where would I be without you? Um... Give the school a glowstone finster game a mohawk. Finster, have you got a mohawk now? Yellow that glows in the dark? Unbelievable. I'm not giving the school a mohawk. It's not. I know you could argue that a man that lives in a skull faced castle with a duck stained glass window. Has no idea about internal decorating or taste, but it's not going with the theme. It's not quite the theme. It's not quite the theme I'm going for, RGT. If I may call you RGT, if I'm... Oof, that dangerous. Uh, have you told everyone on your round? Have you stopped Have you stopped everybody that you put a, po a letter through the post box of? Have you knocked on the door, rang the bell and said, excuse me, excuse me, yes? How can I help you? RGT, how are you? Do you have the YouTube? Oh, I watched the other knitting video on YouTube. Have you started watching this guy's YouTube channel? Oh, what's Minecraft? Let me watch an episode on Report Back. Oh, I love that video you told me about yesterday, RGT. Oh, God, it was amazing. That's right, old lady who lives down the street. I knew it'd be right up your street. I get my tray tea ready. Do you? Yeah, I do. And what else do you do? Oh, I love it. It's brilliant. I love to see what he's going to make. 
I love that one when he was in the mine and he died 20 times. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going back to the farm. I'm going to let this place just um, marinate a little bit. I'm going to marinate on School Mountain. I don't want to make any two more drastic changes. If a duck stone glass window isn't a drastic change, I don't know what is. I'm going to go back to the place we call home, the farm. Today, gamers, we've learned about dyes. Not just me dying, but die die. Die die. We've learned about die. Yesterday, your lesson in Minecraft was about the anvil. Oof. First steps didn't take any fall damage, so did I. No, no. Um, it was all about naming your implements, repairing items, and for that we needed. I don't know. I don't plan any of this content. It just falls from the sky, gifted, gifted by the Minecraft gods. It's a content creation dream. Is Minecraft? If you can't make a video out of Minecraft, I ask you if you're even a gamer. Oh, today's video is sponsored by XBM Network. If you Xbox, and let's face it, even if you don't, I'm an opportunist with the Millie Berries, much like the lesser spotted Xbox gamer. He'll seize upon any website. But if you're out there, moseying through the game spots and the IGNs of the world and you aren't elevating yourself to the premium level even if you don't Xbox even if you're Xbox curious get yourself over to XBM Network where the bigger boys are on Twitter they've got an Instagram as well because they're down with the kids uh, I think in fact I say I think what am I talking about I know I know that they've also got a YouTube. Well, they had better be following the unofficial controller podcast. <laughs> I don't care if it's not in line with company values. You better get all over the over the YouTube. Right, we're back. We've had a good day. Started off a little ropey, didn't it, gamers? Those deaths. Slightly frustrating, um, but just checking out, just checking out the terrace that surrounds our wonderful little home. There we go. We can make a full lap now. Look at this. Not that this is important in any way. It's certainly not as important as XBM Network. Let's make that a bit neater. No, what we're doing is removing the natural formation of the hill. That we can get away with. Let's go in and put the tunes on for the parrot. That's how we end the episode. Where is he? There he is. Boom. He's getting repetitive strain injuries, Pete. But he's got a claim in against me with health and safety. And that's fine. I can deal with that. Because he's alive. Okay? Private Brian. That's his name. Pro Minecraft games in this stream. Wow. Well, they better like, share, and subscribe. We've got a lesson here. Uh, Chloe the cat. None of these are allowed to leave the house. Toxic, this is on you. They have a life pretty much akin. There you go. They never get to smell fresh air. They never get the sense of adventure in our desperation to keep them safe. Let's look through this window. In our desperation to keep them safe, look, they'll never know what living really is. Ask yourself, Toxis. Do these animals, do any of these animals now know what life actually is? No. You don't know about life outside of these four walls, Pete. Apart from that day I brutally abducted you from your parents, dragged you back to a log cabin in the woods and made you live inside it. Same for you. And for you, Chloe. Yes. I remember when I was free in a village, living amongst the village people. 
You might remember that. It's never happening again. I feel terrible. Do you want some fish? She loves me. Do you eat fish, dog? Oh, have I got any dog meat in stores? I've got some stores, surely. 29 dog meats. Yes, I feed my dog rot rotten zombie flesh. Let's face it, not fit for human consumption. <coughs> Crikey, he was hungry. He's happy. Uh, have I got any seeds? As if by magic I have, look at this. Can I feed him? He's not hungry. Don't look away, I'll put the music on. I'll do it. Here we go. That's what he needs, look. Keep him happy. As always, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to tell all the old grannies on your street about the latest Minecrafter on YouTube. It's all going down here. It's all good in the wood. Daisy Digby, Carter Dougie, Oscar Lois, Theo Mimi, Gary, Harry Traguno, Lucy Stacy, and Robert Traguno, Amy Hannah and Ben. Uh, well, wait, rewind. Don't forget about Edward Barker and George Nolden. New fans of the stream. Uh, Ellie and Amelia, Devon Zilla and Daddy Zilla, Thomas and Francois, Nathan and Ronan, Max, the MC Master, Charlie and Oliver, Red, aka Stephen, uh, Gay Boy Matty and his illustrious father, Dugan McVeigh, Fitz the Gamer and his cats, Rommel and Montgomery. Uh, Daniel Ridge, Bobby and Eva, Alex and Anna, Annabelle Watts, Millie, Retro Gamer Thomas and that Donna, Toxis Donna, Boba Loba, I don't know if I've done you twice, Tanto Ninja, the immortal now Tanto Ninja. Um, Tanto Ninja had a great time. Uh, he'll be on next time. Good. You have a good evening, Oscar. Uh, where did we get to? Million Retro Gamer Thomas, we've done Edward Barker and George Nolden, we've done Lily Rose and James, Mark Garage Gamers watching on the retrospective and Pamela. I think, for once, we can say all good in the wood. We can say all fine in the mine. And we can say never say nether in the nether. And maybe, just maybe, we're too cool for school. That's school, S K U W L. Not quite as good a catchphrase, but, you know, there you go. Be careful walking around your house, because as I confessed the other day, it's very easy to clip an animal into a fire and for them to die a horrible and painful death. Thank you, as always, for everything that you do, for tuning in every single time. Mickey's quite, Finster's obviously quite happy with his cats being called Rommel and Montgomery, two opposing desert warfare specialists in World War II. Uh, that history podcast is still in the works, Finster. It's coming. It's coming. It's taking some time. It's taking some time. You've got to check your facts. Triple check your facts. Take some writing. Serious. Um, but there you go. Little insight into the world. Bye bye, Millie. Bye bye, Tanto. Bye bye to everyone. Too too cool for school. Too for cool for school. Like I said, I don't know if it's a good catchphrase, Tanto, if it needs explaining. S K U L L. Too cool for school mountain. Maybe I should put mountain on the back of it. I don't know. In the minute, you know, I promise you a two hour stream. I'm padding for one minute and however many seconds. It's what the big boys on the big television do. The beeb, the news, all that sort of dribble. They can string it out. Radio presenters, they charge you for that nonsense. Um, have a good day tomorrow at school. Don't forget to burrow a hole in your notepad, bury your phone in there, and uh, watch all the content from the Minecraft streams that you might not have seen. Have a good evening. Stay good to yourself. Be good to your parents. Be good to your children, parents. Pour yourself a glass of wine. Kids, get yourself a glass of milk. Get your Jimmy Jams on. It's bedtime now. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more wonderful Minecraft adventures. Take care.